Gloucester City want to finish the season strong. But Manchester City and Manchester United intend to make the next few games really hard. My international career hasn't been going all too well lately. Uh, we threw away to Latvia, 2-2. I sent the squad up, I registered the squad up for the uh, European Championships and yes, I forgot to bring strikers or at least more strikers. I have one striker but that's not going to be enough. Meanwhile, back here with uh, Gloucester City, yes, I'm using the default dark base skin. Uh, we are doing all right. I mean, we we had a fantastic result in our last match. We played uh, Man City and this was a really good match. Uh, we beat Man City 2-0. Uh, it was a, a match that we dominated and uh, we... I'm re I am actually ecstatic that we beat this team. We, however, gave uh, Said Amara actually played quite a fair bit in this game. Uh, he hasn't been playing a lot. We brought him on. He played really well. Now we have a slight question. Uh, we're going to be playing Manchester United next. And then we'll be facing them again in the Europa League quarterfinals. If you watched the last episode, you probably knew know that I have been trying things out. Uh, in order for me to take them on now it's not going to be an easy match uh, we are definitely going to face a lot of issues uh, with Manchester United they are much they are a good team and uh, this season they have been absolutely unstoppable they've taken the lead the at the top of the table and that lead at the top of the table well i don't see anyone coming close to it now will greg has a facial injury. I don't care. You're gonna play. I need you, man. You have to play this game. So we are the players we got Armando Di Blasio, look higher, Mark McNulty. He's only played six games to me for Armando Di Blasio. If I don't I'm gonna retard his development if I don't really play him. So these these three players better start playing. Except for Liam Bradkett. He's uh in the under 23s as a 30 year old man. Because he can't fit into the main squad. So here we go. Ndai, Hanks, Olmedo in our 4 1 3 2. I'll submit the team. Uh, United are playing with a 4 4 1 1 with attacking, with a very attacking right hand flank. You can see that over there. Uh, we're in a good run. We'll just go very high in terms of risk and play structured. And if you're wondering, that's a skin that I have uh, for my patrons. Thank you very much. Ndai to Grig. Will Greg plays it back to Corny. That skin actually just replaces the words like counter, control, structured, and all of that. And uh, replaces it with words I understand. Like high, low, low, no risk. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything has a risk anyway. Morata into the box. So the, the boys have played pretty well so far against um, competition. Uh, we're doing all right. I'm hoping for a top 5 finish or a top 6 finish. Make it back into Europe next season. Uh, strengthen the squad. We really need to strengthen. I need to find one really good, strong jumper in defense to replace Arthur Worry. Because when Arthur Worry is playing, um, I'm not, I don't have any fears when teams do crosses into the box. Um, however, when he's not playing, I get really like, I get edgy, tated. I watch players uh, is crossing in and making it easy to find players and yeah so we're gonna have to find somebody and Dai is a new signing uh, got signed him during the winter transfer period I'm very happy he's joined the club he's 32 years old and uh, he's got very he's actually a pretty good ball winner and Dai inside the box and yes he's given us the lead against Manchester United I'm just talking about him We've talked him up. Papa Aliwe Nendai. How do you pronounce that? Okay. We're gone. We've taken the lead. Gloucester City have started brightly against Manchester United. Taking a lot of risk in this game, but, you know, no risk, no reward. Dimitrov, well, he smashed it against Ndai. Ndai, well, he didn't know anything about it. All right. As you can see now, Manchester United have just changed. They have just pushed up their left flank as well, but they're keeping Luke Shaw in reserve. Again, I mean, it's really hard to tell, but yeah, Luke Shaw has been kept in reserve. I mean, you can't. I mean, if you wanted to stare really long and hard, you probably could see little shifts. <laughs> but uh, I'm not seeing their fullbacks really penetrate very much. Got Marsha pushing up. They got Koke pushing up. If I see Dimitrov and Shaw pushing up, then I have an issue. 
All right, there we go. The attackers, 11 and 60, Martial and whoever this guy is. Paka? No, it wasn't Paka. Greek with the ball. Oh, we'll Greek to Butenko. Butenko passes it to Hanks. Hanks, he's got options. No, 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 no. Why did he do that? We have to shout pass into space. Use it, bro. Mr. Joe Hanks. They change the mentality to an attacking 4 4 1 I just want to make sure that I'm tracking their stats as well. Koke with the corner. Okay, a free kick. Yeah, I kind of like expected this to happen because I'm being such a dingbat at the moment. Uh, yeah, Kone scored an own goal and lost Manchester United with a very important away goal. Well, that's it. This game is uh, riddled by mistakes by the defenders. Kone normally doesn't make any mistakes. Has scored an own goal. David De Gea, Colado, Will Greek picks up the pieces. And, well, he's under a lot of pressure from Martial. Pogba, Louis, Kone to Hanks. Hanks to Will Greek. Will Greek does well. Butenko with the ball now. Finds Joe Hanks. Joe Hanks couldn't release Will Greek. The United players reform for counter-attack. Koke to Saidi. Out wide to Luke Shaw. Still playing. Koke. Loses out to Mamija. Butenko does really well. Greek now to Endai, to Olmedo, to Butenko. Now to Will Greek. Will Greek has options and he decides well in his infinite wisdom to take a shot at goal. Endai is has, 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 having an influential effect on this game. He played really well against Man City. Um, he was uh, dictating play and uh, we played really well with him on his game. Butenko inside the box. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Butenko, Butenko, Butenko. Second half is underway. Felix out wide to Martial. Martial runs, 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 runs. Oh, and Dai gets to this. Louis Ro, Kone. Back to Johnston. If the score says the same, I can safely say we're not making it to the semi finals of Europa Cup unless the boys do something that is incredible. Oh, and they. They actually beat United at home. And if it's, it finishes 1-1 like it has this season, then it's going to be kind of interesting because we'll have to play extra time and go into penalty kicks. Louis Rowe to Endai! Into space of Butenko. No, he gets the pass all mixed up. Louis Rowe again. Lindenoff under some pressure has to play it back to the keeper. The keeper plays it up to Olmedo, to Butenko. This is Will Grieg. Will Grieg's on fire. Come on. Olmedo to Hanks. Hanks out to Endai. Endai inside the box. Ah, they pick up the pieces so quickly. They've made some changes. Kone to Endai. Endai back to Kone. Endai back to Louis. To Kone. This is good football, by the boys. By the boys. I can't even say things properly. Will Grieg to Butenko. But Yes! It's 2-1! Gloucester City 2, Manchester United 1. The boys are playing well. Oh, Will Greg did so well. He helped players up. That Will Greg dragged like four players to him. Butenko! Oh. Finally. So you, your latest goal-scoring streak is a good streak. And it's not a fluke. You'll not be sold in the summer. Gloucester City 2, Manchester United 1. Manchester United will, yes, they've gone to an attacking 4-2-3-1. Manchester United changed their formation. They've got Luke Shaw on attack. they got Caraval on attack. No, they've got Luke Shaw on attack, most likely. Hanks, Estrada, into space or Morata. Morata plays it to Martial. we got to drop it down to con uh, high, which is controlled, structured. No, Morata shoots and does... <laughs> My change came too late. My, I was celebrating, stalking about it, and I made my change way too late. Morata beats our defensive line. Big mistake. Here we go. Mamija with the throw to Colado. Back to Mamija. Are the boys fired up enough to want this? Endai to Butenko to De Gea. I have to admit, two, two, we, we have taken the lead twice against Manchester United. The team is certainly improving. Will Grieg. Back to Butenko. To Olmedo. Finds Joe Hanks. 
and he smashes that over the top. There is a skin that you can use. Uh, if you want to find out about your players a big match uh, or stuff like that, uh, whether or not uh, what your players' hidden ratings are, there's skins that you can use. You can use to find out. Uh, you'd have to visit. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, visit sortitoutsi.net, and there's a, a skin there called the flute skin F L U T. Now it will show you everything that you need to know about a player. So it's as good as having a scouting tool in your hands. Caraval to Felix. To Estrada shoots and the keeper makes a great save. Are we going to keep... My 11 players on the pitch are really my best 11 players. So I, there's no need for me to make substitutions at the moment. So people have asked me this question. That's basically the reason why. I, those are the 11 best players. I mean, apart from Mr. Moore who's injured. Arthur Worry. Yes, Gloucester City to Manchester United too. It's not a bad result. I shouldn't be too disappointed. But um, yeah, great result. And the boys have uh, managed to hold Manchester United to a two-all draw. What will the second leg hold for us? So it's time for the second leg of the match between Manchester United and Gloucester City in the Europa League quarterfinals. And yes, this is a slightly different skin. It's the Gunzo skin uh, from the Korean forums. So you'll have to jump through quite a few hoops to get your hands on this skin. And I'm just trying it out, you know, see what it feels like. Whether or not it's any good, uh, whether I like it, uh, yeah. Anyway, the bad news. The good news is the skin because I need something to cheer me up. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got nobody. Oh, my team, my half my team is suspended or injured. I knew this was going to happen sooner or later. And it's happened. It has happened. And I'm so sad. But Papa, he's not going to be here. Papa is injured and I'm confused. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just staring at my team going, huh? What am I going to do? Well, we've lost uh, Olmedo. Uh, no, sorry. We've lost, uh, what's his name? Um, Colado, yes. Colado is gone. Quite a few players, basically. Let's put it this way. Mamija, Colado, Papa. Three very key players, not available. And I have to play Manchester United with Probably three starters not being able to play. Yep. So let's go out there and see what United are gonna do to us. It's a Korean. This is a Korean skin. So it's lots of little things here. You got background selector as well. So mm, wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, let's go. All right. So I wonder why this looks so patchy, like clouds. Yeah, see, it's a cloudy day. Cloudy days. And, ooh, nice. I like this, this skin. This skin is kind of cool. Whoever did this in the Korean uh, forums is a very nice skin. It, you used to be able to find this skin on the SI forums. Oh, they've even got roles and duties. I didn't know that. Uh, okay. Continue to opposition instructions. Continue to team talk. Okay, let's go, boys. And this is my language pack. This one that I added, this is my own language pack. Uh, basically, it converts our mentality to things that I really understand, like risk. And Manchester United against Gloucester City. The match is off. Koke with the ball. Plays it back to Shaw. Shaw to Pogba. Pogba to Saidi. Saidi Luiro manages to uh, stop that threat from working his way down to the flanks. Paka. He skips Vaz one challenge. And Lo Celso inside the first minute. Okay, we shall have to be very optimistic about our chances and hope that something happens to United before the second minute <laughs> because there's absolutely no chance we can beat United. United are just way too strong. Look at that. Park Kai's got acceleration of 16. I mean, I... yes, um, should I react to the goal that we've conceded? Not really. I mean, this is United. They're playing very well. Dimitrov to Paka, Paka to Saidi, Saidi to Dimitrov. Hanks clears the danger. Lo Celso now with the ball. Finds Pogba. Pogba drives in and scores the second goal. Manchester United 2. Shaw with the ball. Plays it to Koke. The players are trying their best. There. You can't fault them. We are a League One side playing against probably the champions of England. Uh, I think they're just one win away from lifting the title. And yep. Yeah. We're just being completely railroaded by Manchester United.
So if you guys want to go for a coffee break, please do because I certainly will. It's a pity that our players got injured. and But generally, I mean, you can't expect Gloucester to have beaten United. We did very well in the home league, kept the score at 2 all. But United are just a class above everybody else in the English Premiership and they're so much more better than us. And, well, we are still a long way away from, you know, contending with the likes of United. Manchester United, can you just keep it at 3-0? I'll be very happy if it's not 4. Dimitrov crossing it and the boys clear the danger. Yes, the final score, Manchester United 3, Gloucester City 0. The boys have done well. We we came quite far in this competition, and um, I have to say that we did. We were underdogs, and yeah, they did well enough, I guess. It's it's a Mbappaka. Look at this. This player was absolutely phenomenal. 16, 16, 13. Look at his acceleration, his pace, his first touch. He's finishing. This guy is unstoppable. Tackling the only thing that he can't do. But, I mean, he makes it up with everything else. He's just a demon on the flanks. I'm not too fussed about how we have finished. I'm very proud of the boys because they took us all the way to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We managed to get past the early rounds and we've we gone all the way and we're still in with the shot of finishing in a European uh, playoff position so I could either make it to the Europa League next season and give it another go or we can end up in the Champions League spots Champions League spots are going to be hard I've got to admit this is going to be a lot harder because we still have to play Everton and Arsenal this season uh, we've got matches against Derby County and Crystal Palace who are also fighting for relegation so it's not going to be easy. Arsenal have a chance to make it to Europe, so it's going to, and Everton have a chance to make it to the Champions League. So two teams who can make it to the Champions League, and two teams who are fighting for relegation. Man, I couldn't have asked for a more tougher challenge. Well, I'd like to thank all of you for watching the show. Thanks for all your support. Uh, if you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustonet or to to fm.com my website. Once again, to all my patrons, I love you guys for making me do this safe. Yes, I'm not stuck in it really really stuck deep into the safe <laughs> so you guys take care have a good one i'll catch up with you guys again soon bye bye